How's it going everybody? CJ here, back in another video. Today, we got four VIP Double Masters booster packs. And we're gonna crack these bad boys open. We're really hoping to hit that foil, full art, force of will. That's like the key card here. We're really hoping not to hit Meddling Mage, which we had already opened in that, ex in that bonus booster pack that I had in the last video. So, let's see how we do here. We want to get some value, some nice mythics. I do like these boxes. I like how it's got the swords on the inside in here. It'll, there we go. Yeah, see the swords? That looks really pretty. So, we're going to start this up. These are not the easiest things in the world to open. Okay, that's not bad. Alright, so we got Fairy Miscreant. Or I keep doing that. Fairy Mechanist. Mechanist. Whatever. Thraven Inspector. Lightning Axe. Sift. Versus Tower. That's solid. Tumble Magnet. Dire Fleet Hoarder. Death Hood Cobra. Cathodeon. Ooh, Manamorphos Foil. That's a, sil that's a good hit. That's a good hit. Culling Diaz. Oh wait, we're on the uncommons here. Manamorphos was that first uncommon. Colin Diaz, Ordeox Salvagers, Riddle Smith, Gore Clan Rampager, Skull Muncher, Topple the Statue, O Naginata. We got oh that's a myth wait, is this a this is a rare. Okay. Godo. We just got Godo, that's not terrible. I mean it's not great. And Mere Battlesphere. Okay, those are pretty bad rares. Ooh, ooh, this looks like it could... Oh, okay. It's just... We got Brainstorm as our first box topper. That's pretty solid. And, ooh, Sword of Light and Shadow. That's a good one. All right, so Sword of Light and Shadow and Brainstorm as our box toppers there. And I'm just going to throw all the Mythics up top. And here are the lands for those of you that have not seen these. The lands are going to be the same, I believe, in every pack. And then we have two foil lands in the back. So I'm probably just going to skip through the lands, skip right ahead to the foil lands. And yeah, now we're on to the next one. So this set has so many really good mythics that I really, really want to hit. Like, I would love to hit that full art of tracks. I would love to hit the Force of Will. Um, Blight Steel is always good. Sword of Feast and Famine. There's some value. Mana Crypt and Force of Will, obviously. Oh, come on. There we go, there we go. Alright. Pack number two. Let's see. I'm not going to read through all of them. I'll just go uh, slowly through the commons. Maybe read the uncommons. Alright, so... Nothing crazy in the commons. Uncommons. Dark Steel Citadel. Dark Steel Citadel's not bad. Master Split. Mishra's Bobble's a good hit. That's a good hit. Trevor's Familiar. Selesnia Guild Mage. Muir Smith. Uh, Esperosa. Salvage Titan. That's a whiff. And Leisure the Tangle. Okay, so our foil rare slot has been bad. Urza's Power Plant. And Blightsteel Colossus. Damn! Okay, we got two Mythics so far. That's pretty good. That's really good. So we got two mythics here. We've had good. We've had we both packs. We've had one really good um, box topper and one, it, one really good box topper and some really bad foil rares. Our foil rares have been trash. No foil mythic yet in that slot. Just some bad foil rares. Oh my goodness! Open. All right, come on, come on. Let's see. This is a really interesting art there. That art is something. A braid's always good. Ancient stirrings, that's good. There's this power plant. All right. 
Not too bad there. Not too bad there for the commons. Uncommons. We've got... Uh, nothing really crazy. Yeah, nothing big. Engineered Explosives as a foil rare. That's good. And Blood Moon as a foil rare. That's another good one. Academy Ruins as a uh, full art foil. That's a really good one. And ooh, Avacyn! Wow, we've gotten a Mythic in each one of these so far. This is a gorgeous one, too. This is such a pretty card. I'm very happy about this pull. All right, I think we're doing very... Ooh, I love the, mount, the island. I think we're doing very, very well right now with these box toppers. That was a really good pack. Foil Engineer Explosives, Foil Blood Moon, Full Art Academy Ruins, and Full Art Avacyn. All right, can we hit a fourth Mythic box topper? I don't know. I hope we can, but I wouldn't. I would be surprised if we can do it, because that's not gonna be easy to do. If we do, I need to buy a lottery ticket because wow. Alright, nothing crazy there. Pognify is a good card though. Very great very, very good EDH card there. Crop rotation, another good one. Pentad Prism Solid. Maze of Ith, that's a really nice, really nice foil right there. Good foil rare. Swift Blade Vindicator, that's booty. Urza's Tower. And Fatal Push. Alright, so not the best rares there. Not the best full arts there. But we did really well with the other full arts. So, and bam. So that's it. That's what we got. So we pulled three full art mythics. We got Blight Steel Colossus. Avacyn Angel of Hope, and Sword of Light and Shadow. These are really, really pretty. And then, were there any... Okay, so for the rares, I think we got... I mean, Academy Ruins is a very good one. I think Brainstorm's also a pretty good one. And the others are okay. Fatal Push, probably solid, not amazing. The I mean, we didn't get any terrible ones. We didn't get a Meddling Mage. And we got uh, three really good rares. No mythics in this slot, though. We got no foil mythics in this slot. So, yeah. Maybe if, uh, if I can convince myself to do it, then I'll probably buy another box or two of these. Because these are a lot of fun to open. And there are some mythics that I really want to pull. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, please remember, comment down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you're going to buy any of these. Let me know if you did buy any of these, what your pulls were. I'd love to hear. Uh, if you want to see more of these, let me know. Because I, it doesn't take much convincing to get me to do it. And we will see you guys next time. Peace out, everybody.